It's like a strip tease for your food. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. Today, oh, I can whisper now because the heater's off. Today is the day that I leave for Michigan for a week. I just woke up. I know, look how rugged I am. I got the cats fed. It's the eating food so they can cat some more later. I have a list over here. Oh, hi, Dan. I have a list of stuff over here that I need to try to do before I go. I need to edit a vlog, the podcast. I need to go and check out that swamp cooler on the roof and the litter box, empty the car, get some music, cat water, share a post. Yeah, see all that good stuff here. This is the last video that I have to do until I get back. So I'll edit that now. So this is actually the video on the 30th. Oh my gosh, this is what's going to happen on the 30th. Yes, this. This is what's going to happen. So I have to do all this stuff today and get my stuff packed. It's pretty much, it's pretty much packed. This is my carry-on backpack with my stuff in it. But everything's pretty much packed up. So it's going to be a busy day. And then I have a long car ride down to get to the airport for a long uh, airport ride all the way to Michigan, which you will be able to see. I guess this is as good a place as any to start the new vlog. Crystal and Blake were laughing over cat pictures, even though there's real cats right here. Yeah, but it was another cat I never saw before. I am all packed up and ready to go. Look at how she's there. Like, what are you, like, I'm here. Like, like you left the spot open for yeah, her. Yeah, she's stoked. Look how happy <laughs> she is. Are you happy I'm leaving too? She's gonna take my side of the bed. She always does. Are you two gonna miss me when I'm gone? I will miss you. Blake? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Such a loving family. <laughs> After about a 45 minute car ride, I'm hopping on this bus for another half an hour to get me to the airport. It shoves its way through traffic and it gets me to my flight on time without me having to scramble through rush hour traffic. The TSA line is always a zoo. They just yell at you. You're always doing it wrong. <laughs> the best part of the trip. It's always a mad dash to take everything off in a timely matter that pleases the TSA agents. My stuff actually got super searched through because they didn't know what the mirror was that was inside my box. Wait, my, my bag, my bag. All right, I've made it to the airport. Same airport as last time. If you remember, I was stuck here eating a sandwich with no napkins and that actually happened uh, right there. So I will be refraining from a sandwich this time. As you can see, it's way more busy. The line's way longer. And now I have about an hour wait until I board. Not too bad, not too bad at all. All of a sudden, they changed the gate to our flights to somewhere on the other side of the airport. So we had to run out on the tarmac, hop on a bus. We're going down the runway in this video here. I feel like something out of the movie Speed with Keanu Reeves and Sandra Bullock. I was getting a little bit nervous because it was time to board and I still wasn't really sure where the heck we were going. At some point, we had to stop so an airplane could go flying by us on the way to its destination. It's pretty cool at the end, but a little scary. Wow, what a travel day. All right, so they rerouted my flight to the new terminal. So there's my flight, but here's the sea of people here. So now I must get in the back of the line of the sea of people until it's my turn to get on the airplane. I can't believe I made it here. Nobody told me that the gate changed at all. But here we go. In the chaos. All right. Travel day. The four and a half hour plane ride to Detroit went actually pretty smooth for this trip. The people sitting next to me were super nice. There was movies that were on the screen that I haven't seen before. And look at me, the Mile High Club. Who would have thunk? <laughs> All right, one flight down, one to go. It's like, it's like three in the morning my time, but it's like six here, so it's like tomorrow. There's our gumball machine that we see every time that we still buy no gumballs out of. It is still here and in service. Hi, gumball machine. Maybe one day we'll try the gumball machine, but not anytime soon. I do see the trains going by or the trams going by, which I rode it last time. I have about three hours to kill and we have to go that way over the tunnel. But I'm trying to see if there's anything I want here. When's the switch over at McDonald's from, from lunch to breakfast? You know, like when does that happen, right? Then that, that line's McLong. All right, I think I'm going to head down over to where I need to hang out with for a few hours since I pretty much have nothing to do for the next uh, three hours. And we just have to hope that the plane's going to take off on time. That's the, that's the story this time is that it's icy and sludgy up at Jess's house. And this plane's supposed to land in Alpena. But uh, will it make it? I don't know. I heard yesterday's airplane was like three hours late. Plus the three hours I already need to spend here. Whew. All right, let's go. Let's go find something to do. They need to have like a, they need to have like a spa here. Something. 
Although the tunnel still looks pretty, it doesn't quite have the music and the love that it had during the holiday times when I came here during Christmas. But it's still always a neat experience to travel through this cool little tunnel as I head underneath the runway. Planes are actually landing above us, as you know. All the way to the other side. Kind of smells like Disneyland, like a Disneyland ride under here. And yes, uh, there are signs on the ground for walking and standing in case you need to get where you're going a little bit quicker. So after about a three and a half hour layover at the airport, I hopped on a plane for 45 minutes to get from Detroit to Alpena. The problem was is when we were about to land that the runway was frozen. So we had to do a couple figure eights up in the sky as you can see on the picture on the screen for a few minutes before we were able to land. I was a little nervous since he just started doing all these banking maneuvers before coming on the PA system and telling us what was up. But I landed safe and soundly. I know, did you die, Dan? I did not. Hey Jess, it's been a lot, a lot of years. And my knee is still in there. It is. How has that not been taken out yet? Apparently you're just a part of the deli now. I guess I am. Well, yeah, but I mean, so is uh, E.T. Yeah. So, yeah. So I made it to Michigan. I don't think I recorded anything about me getting here yet. It's been a few days. It's been a few hours and we're rushing Kira to... Trick dog classes. Trick dog classes, not puppy dog classes. Not puppy classes. Are you ready to perform? Trick. Are you no, ready? Classes. Yes. It's snowy and wet and soggy. It is. It says it's supposed to go away by tomorrow. You said that yesterday. Well, <laughs> it's, it's Michigan. Been, it's been like this since I left in December. Yeah, this is how we live for half the year. Mm-hmm. Sloppy. Hi, Kira. So pretty. <laughs> you didn't think you'd get to see big snowflakes. I again. did not. Gee, do you think this dog knows where she's going? <laughs> yes, I think so. You want a snack? <laughs> you, want a for it? <laughs> you don't want that. It looks like a Rolo. They're gross. You have to play dead for it. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Dan showing you up. Dan's showing you up. <laughs> Good job. Oh man, we're dancing through this so fast. <laughs> Good job, guys. She's like, look at me. All right, so we're all loaded up and we're headed to the pet expo. I almost called it Novi, but it is not. It, well, no. It's it, the opposite. It is not. Everybody's it's the opposite side of the city. Everybody's stoked. Yeah. Or whiny. I can't tell which <laughs> one. <laughs> and we have like a four hour drive. We do. We do. You just come out here to go on these long drives with us. I'm convinced that you just like long drives. I spend a lot of miles coming here, driving to get here, getting here, yeah. driving to go to the place and driving back. Well, I mean, to be fair. This time when you got here, you were here. I was here. I didn't like, have to. We didn't have to drive in, two and a half hours. Yes, yeah, you were in Alpena. Also, I'm just a passenger. You are. Also, I um, could make you drive. There, you wouldn't let me. I mean, you. Uh, well, I mean, precious cargo. In the I mean, back, you're not you know, wrong. Like, it doesn't yeah. matter if it was empty. You still. <laughs> I would let you drive my Jeep without me in it. For to make, <laughs> maybe <laughs> to McDonald's. <laughs> yeah. Uh, see. So we're off to have. We're off to have lots of we're fun. We're off to see the we're wizards. <laughs> there is the no wonderful. wizards. Of what? Rapids. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, get in the back. Oh my gosh, I found a Tim Hortons. I hope they have some Bieber bites in there, or some Bieber bits, or some something in there. I'm so excited. We'll be temporarily closed due to staffing issues. What? Are you mad, Dan? Yeah. Why? Because the stupid Tim Hortons was closed for staffing. It is that what it said? Yeah, it says due to short staffing. It's like, first of all, it ain't my business. Don't worry, <laughs> like, that's not my business. But, yeah, give me the keys then. Uh, give I, me the keys. I'll go make my own Hortons and I'll leave. I, 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 and we did specifically stop there. In a quarter mile, I was so excited. Left onto the you US zip it. Stop telling us what to do unless you tell us how to get to Tim Hortons. That's open. Because it did say it was open till 8. It lied. You know Dan, what? I, I'm Dan, so we have been deceived. Yeah, by Canada. By Canada. Blame Canada. <laughs> Turn left on the I am taking a vowel of silence breath. starting now. Well, at least then I don't have to listen to you. And the vowel's over. <laughs> <laughs> that was a little deflating. <laughs> I was so ready. I was talking to the vlog cam. I'm like, they better have those Bieber bites. Bieber I was all excited for, for the mile. for the Justin Bieber bites and. Uh, it looks like I'm the beeper fighting. Well, we are going to Grand Rapids. It's not and the I same. have a feeling, if you're right, it's not the same. It won't be the same climactic thing. But I have a feeling we'll be by another Tim Hortons. I'll hold you to that. I will, okay, I promise 
to try to find another <laughs> I promise to try. <laughs> All right, I guess I'll eat these discount donut holes then. Shut up, those were good. I know, but they did. They weren't Timmy bits. They're not Timmy. They're, they're not. Miles. They were Run good. Down to US 131 South. Stop telling us where to go. It's like you're trying to be helpful. You're not. Hmm. All right. This clip is. I'm trying really hard while I'm doing this pouty face to hit the stop record button and I can't reach it. I'm like a half an inch from reaching the stop record button. So now I have to do it like this. Hold on, I'll look at the camera. My hair is a certified snow catcher. There, there's snowflakes. Is there snowflakes? I can't see. There's snowflakes in my hair? Yeah. It's not dandruff. I do not need dandruff shampoo. Oh, maybe that's what it is. No! You take it back. I'm not taking it back. Jess, I don't fit in your car. Can you call me an Uber? I could open the sunroof and all the snow will fall on you. Oh, it would, huh? It would. <laughs> it literally, like, if I push this button, that's all gonna come in here. <laughs> it's almost like a, it'd almost be like a snow. Almost. Well, that's probably really loud. Sorry, guys. Ooh, do I, do I want to go scrape the scrapers? Oh, where's the scraper? I know. I can't turn or do anything. No. I'm just stuck in here. <laughs> Are you always too tall for my car? Um... I think so, because the seat's down all the, it way. all the way. down? But then I'd lean it back. Oh, and then I'm okay. 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 I'm too tall for like every car, except for my car. All right, so we're halfway through day one of the convention here. It's been a lot of fun. It's been busy, obviously. I haven't been able to make a bunch of clips, but it's been a lot of fun. There's been a lot of people here. Everybody's so excited to see the dogs and to see Elle. Wait, Dan. Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> so it's been good. These seats over here get filled up with all the stuff that's going on in the arena. We'll go check that out later. And everybody's here lined up to uh, see the dogs. At this point, I feel like I'm a discount Spider-Man with all these like ropes coming off of me. I'm pretty much just a paperweight for the dogs, <laughs> but they're doing good. Day one's like three quarters over. How you feeling? Good. Fine. Fine. Even <laughs> if you weren't, we wouldn't know. Right? Everybody's yeah. still here hanging oh, out, having a good time. Illusion. Yeah. But uh, it's been a lot of fun so far. Are you going to ride the ponies? Okay, there's this one pony that's over there that looks like he or she might be able to hold me. Oh, that's a boy. Um, <laughs> but I don't think they're gonna let me on the horses. I, I, I Those think. Are ponies. Oh, then if it's named Pony, then I'm sure I'm not gonna get on it. I bet I could. You I'd probably. Meet the height requirement. You'd meet the height requirement. They're just gonna tell me no. But I'm gonna ask because that what one looks pretty sheep? big. Are you gonna ride the sheep? I could be a sheep rider, but I'm not from the Midwest. So that might be a little hard for me. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say that. Is it okay if my son gets the dogs? Yeah. It's 25 cents a stroke. Yeah, right. And she's looking at the ponies as she stands there. She's like, I got the vantage point. Well, we can just put her to work. We can hook her in and she can just walk in circles right? over there. Those ponies get their Fitbit steps in. Oh my gosh, this gas mitten looks like it would only fit somebody who had their hand run over by a forklift. It's snowing! You're doing the walk wrong. You can't see the snow because I have a GoPro, not a snow pro. If I had a snow pro, you'd be able to see the snow. But it is. Thank you. It's there. It is. We came to pet somewhere. I don't know why we're here. We just left the pet convention and now we're at like the accessories. I have to get place. more snacks for Miss Eleanor so she has good experience. You said you were in and out of here and now we're stuck at Easter stuff. Well, the Easter Bunny has to come. I just help him out. Right. I mean, everybody does, but. That's just gonna get tore up. I think I just want. Um, I think they're all just gonna get tore up. Oh, well, yeah. I don't. Well, I mean, I might be crazy, I but. Oh, I already went and got a basket. So much cute stuff. Okay. I won't lie, this might be the coldest I've ever been in my life. It's no joke. It's cold. It's cold. It's I no mean, joke. It's not as cold as I've ever been in my life, but. No, but for me, I think that's it. It's uh, cold as ice. Windy. Now you know what I talk about when I say it wouldn't be so bad if it wasn't for the wind. It's chilly, windy. It's uh, 24 degrees outside. Unfazed. Hey, how come you're not cold? Or are you? How come you're not cold? <laughs> She's like, I'm excited. I pooped. I wish everybody was excited like that when I pooped. 
I may or may not be struggling this morning. It's Sunday morning, like too early, too early, but I'm happy. I was just showing you, as always, I have my little tripod here that leans up so I can see the side of my head in this mirror in order for me to do my hair, which is, I know, it's very, very fancy, huh? But every time I go out somewhere, I have a tripod with a taped on mirror. And this isn't the first time you've seen this, but yes, it's happening again as we get ready to go to our last and final day of the pet convention, which has been a lot of fun. As you see, it's been a lot of fun. So, all right, kids, after more, off I go. So last night in this very spot, we talked about how I was the coldest I'd ever been in my life. <laughs> well, I think we're breaking that record today. Yeah. Yeah, it is super cold and back to the Pet Expo. 23 and it says we it go. feels like 11. Yes. This is what 11 feels like. Whew. It's a sharp 11. <laughs> yeah. Jamie. <laughs> I'm not happy with it. disappearing. <laughs> no, I, 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 I thought the beam was here. <laughs> It's a monster trick. <laughs> right? It's not a real wall, I, I pushed it and it fell backwards. Yeah. So, day two at the Pet Expo. It was, it's been pre pretty busy. Not as busy as yesterday. Not as busy as yesterday. Not as busy, not as busy, as busy yesterday. yesterday. But everybody's uh, here uh, petting the dogs in between the shows. It's been a lot of fun. Off the bed again. This one's been doing so good. <laughs> yeah. How are you? Hi. How's it going? She's like, who's got food? Any bad crinkling. Uh-huh. It's so cold out here that it turns me into Michael Jackson when I come out here. I'm like, hee hee, whoo, ow, because it's so dang cold. It is cold. And, it, and you just wait till we get back to my house. It's colder there. Is it? It is colder there. We are on the way home from the convention. That was a lot of fun. I always think it's the neatest thing to step in unstepped in snow. Look at it. Like, nobody was there but me. And, like, nobody touched the spot you know after the snow. Look at the difference in our feet size. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm only 10 and a half. Like, I have just, like, normal feet. Or, I don't know, if you ask Steve, maybe I'm just a 10. <laughs> if I'm shrinking. Right? Do you want to test if it's icy? Yeah. Uh, okay, okay, okay. You're going to make that spider come out of the vents. <laughs> don't upset the spider. All these cars have, like, these icicles hanging off the bottom of them. Oh, I'm taking this back to California with me. <laughs> Look, I can... I'm a narwhal! You're... <sighs> this is gonna give you directions all the way home. It's a trip down your head already. I really so bad wanna like... Don't just... do it! But it came off the exhaust, don't so I can't. It. I'm getting all wet, but like, this is rad. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Jess, what am I doing? I don't, I don't How do I get this back home with me? Um... You have to, you have to, um, you have to put it inside your person. They're on everybody's car. They, well, it's because it's like cold and stuff. It's very cold. That was cool. It's colder than we thought it was going to be while you were here. Yes. You oh. kept asking me, is it going to be cold? I'm like, nah, you'll be fine. <laughs> you'll be, be great. It's March. You were wrong. Oh, uh, I will. It's not bad right the second though. Like it That's feels okay. That's because you're inside the car. Stand outside for a few minutes. Let's see. <laughs> it is, according to my weather app, it is 21 degrees and it feels like seven. Jeez. When we came home yesterday, it was 11, 12, 17. It's yeah, four. and it said it feels like one. It's a, little, it's a little chilly out there. It's a little bit colder than anticipated. We're gonna get hit on camera. Oh, we're good. Oh, that'd be great. I'd, I'd interview the lady. So, what were you thinking? She almost hit us. <laughs> it is now time for food. All right, let's do this. And yes, it wouldn't be a trip to Michigan without coming to the deli and getting my my once a trip Reuben. It's, yes, you're, yeah. I was gonna say, do you remember what you ordered? Yes, I do. Oh yeah, I thought about it all the way here. I got a boring ham sandwich. It is. I mean, I'm sure it's delicious, but it's just I don't know. It's just what I wanted. Sometimes oh. you just gotta get what you want. Right. I'm excited, so I'm gonna get to eating. <laughs> I did it, Dan! I kept the secret! <laughs> oh, I thought you were gonna make me like get all teary. Holy <laughs> shit! What up, dude? <laughs> you do exist! I do! if you want it. Uh oh! You have no idea how hard this was. It was so it was difficult. Like, no idea. <laughs> I don't even, it was wild difficult, right? Jeez. Oh, my heart is racing so fast right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
How did you guys. do this, Jess? You have no idea. You can't keep no a secret idea. Anything. You have no you idea. You have no idea. Share ever. You have no idea. <laughs> Especially when my phone started going off because I had the sound on. Oh shit. I'm like, uh. Yeah, right. <laughs> How long are you here for? Uh, tonight. <laughs> are you gonna leave tonight? Oh, no, I'm gonna leave tomorrow. Yeah. Surprise! Surprise! Woohoo, BLT pizza! So today's the day I'm supposed to leave, but it's an ice warning, which it's just, I guess, frozen snow. But check this out. Everything on here is all frozen and stuff. Look at it. I can't get the door open or anything. It's like a whole nother, like, paint layer on it. Pew, pew. Oh, that's so rewarding. That doesn't get old. Choo, choo, choo. That's crazy. And I just, I'm just kind of stuck out here until somebody does something. Oh, oh. <laughs> Here's Steve. <laughs> <laughs> it's pouring. Go bring the car around. You bring the car around. <laughs> oh. You want to drive in the ice? No. It's it's too rainy out there. <laughs> I'm coming. I'm coming. Woo! It's slippery. Oh, it is muddy. It's the pier! Steve, we're, we did it! Get back in the car! <laughs> we did it! <laughs> oh my gosh, it's rocking! Why are we out here just, just laughing at us? <laughs> we did it! We did it! <laughs> I'm soaking wet! <laughs> Jess! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Look, I'm soaked! <laughs> oh, oh my god! <laughs> oh, was, that, was that so foaming? <laughs> yes! No. It still is! <laughs> oh my god! Right down! I'm so wet! <laughs> Anything. <laughs> the ice is slippery. Yes. <laughs> Do we need to take you home to get your clothes? Heck changed? no. Okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna take him to the deli and come there. <laughs> Look at even the ducks know better. See him out there? They're like, we're not moving. No, but before you leave, at least you have to okay, at least you have to make a real clip for the real oh, channel. Oh. And then you can insert part of that if you want. Here, we'll set the stage. Okay. You turn your wife around? Okay. No, we won't be able to see it either. You, you sit here. So, I brought the guys down to the okay. pier because, you know, we always come down here and look, there's little ducks over there. And, uh... It is brutal out. I did not get out of the car because I know better. You only got out of the car for sympathy. I did. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, should I get out with them? Should I get out with them? And I was like, oh, I'll get out. Okay. And, uh, what happened back there, Dan? <laughs> I. You can I insert the clip. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I might wet at all. Can you see? Uh, I can't. <laughs> oh my god. I can't. You're so. <laughs> I can't tell if I'm wet or not. You're, yeah. <laughs> you are so. You're I, so dude. I don't know what happened. <laughs> I was enjoying my time, and the next thing you know, I was sitting down. <laughs> Steve had to pick me up off the ground. <laughs> <laughs> just there. I wanted to get soaked. I didn't know what to do anymore. So Dan learned today that ice is slippery and uh, water, water is wet. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, you want to go get food now? <laughs> Let's get food. Okay. I have since learned my lesson and it is baby steps all the way to the deli. Oh, I'm just going to pull you down with me. I'll just, I'll just, I'll just slide. I'll just slide. Woo we made it to the deli, okay. so Steve can try the deli. <laughs> Open it just for me. Mm -hmm. I have a key. Yes, you do. All right, what'd you get? I got a Reuben. Yes, the famous cake by Deli Reuben. Made by? Jess. Because. That's some VIP treatment right there. The deli's closed because of the ice store. I know, right? Have you even taken a bite yet? No. All right, well, I'll wait up here. First reaction. Now you have to come back all the time. <laughs> I feel 
short. I don't want to stand by you guys. <laughs> yeah, we could squat down. Watch out, there's a dog behind us. Hi, dog. Oh, yeah. Nice right angle. Well, goodbye. Nice seeing you. And goodbye. Nice seeing you. See you again soon. And you will be twice as big the next time I see you. And you were a heck of a good dog today. This whole trip. For a puppy? She's pretty good, right? So soft. So much softer than the other dogs because little baby hair. And you too, too. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, bye. See you later. And Steve. And Steve. Who had to move mountains <laughs> to get here. Really, though. Like, yeah. thank you for, for making them come out. because. Thank you for inviting me. Yeah, that was, that was uh, a lot you had to go through to get here. It was worth it. And it now we have to it. get home. That's okay. Yes. We still don't even know if you're going to make it home. Like, no. Wait, you might be making this clip as the goodbye clip, and we might get to the airport, and they may be like, nope, we're not taking off till morning. Yeah, it's pretty crummy out, and the plane that's supposed to pick me up is already a little bit late. And uh, we'll see how that works. I guess we'll see in the next clip. <laughs> Does Dan make it? Yes. Will Steve beat Dan yeah. in Detroit? Yeah. Right. Yeah, pretty much. I'll look for you out the window. In the air. <laughs> so it's the next day when i left you all last night my flight did not it wasn't going to make my connecting flight in time so i had to stay an extra day in alpina but i'm here at the tiny little alpina airport look out this is the airport that is the whole airport right there i'm about to get on that little plane there as we take our adventure to detroit for a long layover so uh let's go So I've made it to flight number two, but I don't know if anybody else got the memo because nobody's loaded up yet. Look, there's the luggage dudes. How cool, huh? And uh, off I go. Next stop, LAX. And there you go. Another fun trip to Michigan in the books. Thank you, Jess and Jamie, for always making me feel at home when I stay at your house. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Steve. Oh my gosh, go follow at Loki the Siberian if you're already not. Thank you for coming all that way to hang out with us. After an action-packed Grand Rapids Pet Expo, we really enjoyed you coming out there for us to unwind and bring us Timbits. It was so fun hanging out with you. Can't wait to see you again in November for Novi. And if you'd like to see more of our adventures, please go over to youtube.com slash snowdogsvlogs where you can see all the rest of the videos of all these adventures that you saw here. And look at me making it all the way back home safely to LA. I came back in such a good mood. It ended up being a really good trip and I made it safely home. So everybody, thank you so much for watching this long epic adventure and I'll see you next time again. Swoosh, swoosh, break. Er